Have you ever wondered if a serval cat can be kept in an apartment? Let's take a moment to introduce this fascinating feline. The serval cat, also known as Leptolurus serval, is a wild species native to the African continent. With long legs, large ears, and striking golden coats marked with black spots, they are easily distinguishable and quite the sight to behold in their natural grassland habitats. These creatures are known for their exceptional problem-solving skills and agility. They're solitary by nature, often seen prowling the wilds alone, hunting small mammals and birds with a precision that's awe-inspiring. The serval's heightened senses, particularly their hearing, make them formidable hunters, able to detect prey hiding underground or in tall grasses. Their wild roots and instinctual behaviors make them unique, but also pose questions about their adaptability to domestic environments. But can these wild cats adapt to an apartment lifestyle? Let's dive into it. Understanding the serval cat's physical and behavioral traits is crucial in determining if they can live comfortably in an apartment. Hailing from the African wild, serval cats are a sight to behold. They are medium-sized cats, but with longer legs proportionate to their body, making them one of the tallest cats when measured at the shoulder. They sport a slender, muscular build that allows for incredible agility. Their coats are golden yellow with black spots, much like a young leopard, and they have large rounded ears set on a small head, giving them a distinctive look. Not just their appearance, the physical capabilities of serval cats are also noteworthy. These cats are adept athletes. They can leap up to nine feet in the air to catch birds in flight and can sprint swiftly to chase down terrestrial prey. Their long legs are not just for show, they are functional tools for survival in the wild. In terms of behavior, serval cats are solitary and territorial creatures. They prefer to live alone and mark extensive territories to keep other servals at bay. Their natural instinct is to roam and explore, a trait that may not be well suited to the confines of an apartment. These cats are also endowed with a strong hunting instinct. In the wild, they primarily hunt rodents and small birds, using their keen sense of hearing to locate prey. This instinct remains strong even in servals that are kept as pets. It's not unusual for a serval to pounce on a toy or a moving foot with the same intensity they would a mouse in the wild. Another point to note is that serval cats are primarily nocturnal. They are most active during dawn and dusk, times when they would typically hunt. This could potentially lead to nocturnal activities that may disrupt a household's sleep pattern. These traits raise questions about the suitability of an apartment setting for a serval cat. A creature of such remarkable physical prowess and specific behavioral characteristics surely requires a living environment that caters to its needs. Can the confines of an apartment provide that? That's what we'll explore next. What do veterinarians and animal experts say about keeping serval cats in apartments? The consensus among the professionals seems to be one of caution. Dr. Elizabeth Roberts, a well-respected veterinarian with over two decades of experience, expresses her concerns quite explicitly. She points out that serval cats are not your typical feline. They're wild animals, with a wild animal's needs. She emphasizes that these cats are known for their high energy levels and their need for ample space to roam and play. In an apartment setting, this could pose a significant challenge. Next, we have Dr. James Thompson's perspective. As an animal behaviorist, he expresses his apprehensions about the potential safety risks. Serval cats are agile and powerful, capable of jumping up to nine feet in the air. This, coupled with their natural curiosity, could lead to a variety of dangerous situations within an apartment. Dr. Thompson underscores the importance of a secure environment for these cats, something that may be difficult to achieve in a typical apartment setting. Adding to the chorus of concerned voices is Dr. Sarah Mitchell, a renowned animal ethicist. She highlights the cat's well-being as a crucial factor to consider. Servals are native to the African plains. They're used to a life of freedom, hunting, and exploration. Attempting to confine them within the walls of an apartment could result in stress and behavioral issues. Dr. Mitchell strongly advises potential owners to consider the cat's natural lifestyle and whether they can provide an environment that respects their inherent needs. From all these expert opinions, a clear picture begins to form. Keeping a serval cat in an apartment is not a decision to be taken lightly. It requires careful thought, thorough preparation, and a significant commitment to the animal's welfare. So it's clear that experts advise caution when considering a serval cat for an apartment pet. Apart from the physical and behavioral considerations, there are also legal and ethical factors to consider. To begin with the legal side, the ownership of serval cats varies greatly from region to region. 
In some areas, it's perfectly legal to own a serval as a pet. However, in other locations, it's either strictly prohibited or requires special permits and licenses. For instance, some states in the U.S. allow you to keep servals with no restrictions, while others require permits, and still others ban them entirely. The same applies globally. Some countries permit ownership, while others have strict laws against it. So if you're considering getting a serval, it's crucial to research the specific laws in your area. It's not just about adhering to the law, but also about ensuring that you can provide the necessary care and environment for these exotic cats. Now let's shift gears and talk about the ethical considerations. Servals are wild animals. They're used to roaming vast distances and hunting in the wild. Keeping them in a confined space like an apartment poses a significant ethical question. Can we, as pet owners, justify depriving these magnificent creatures of their natural habitats? Some argue that keeping a serval in an apartment is akin to putting a wild animal in a cage. They believe it's unfair to the animal and can lead to a host of behavioral and health issues. On the other hand, proponents of serval ownership feel that with proper care and enrichment, these cats can lead happy, healthy lives in domestic environments. It's a complex issue, with valid arguments on both sides. It's also a personal decision, one that requires a good deal of thought and consideration. As potential serval owners, it's our responsibility to weigh these factors carefully and make an informed decision. The law and ethics add another layer of complexity to this question. It's not just about whether a serval can live in an apartment, but whether it should. So before you go out and adopt a serval, remember to consider the legal and ethical implications. If you're in love with the exotic look of serval cats but concerned about the challenges, there are alternatives to consider. Just as unique and captivating as the serval, yet more suited to apartment living, are the Bengal and Savannah cats. If you're drawn to the wild beauty of servals, these breeds could be the perfect compromise. Bengal cats, for instance, are renowned for their strikingly beautiful coats that mimic the wild appearance of a leopard. Yet unlike servals, Bengals are fully domesticated with a love for play and a friendly disposition. They're agile, active, and intelligent, making them engaging companions. Bengals are also known for their adaptability to various living conditions including smaller spaces like apartments. Next, we have the savannah cats. Savannas are a hybrid breed, a cross between a serval and a domestic cat, resulting in a creature that combines the allure of the wild with the comfort of the familiar. They boast the exotic look of servals, but their behavior leans more towards that of a domestic cat. Savannah cats are known for their loyalty and can form strong bonds with their owners. Even though they are energetic and require mental stimulation, they can adapt well to apartment living with the right care and attention. Both breeds have their unique quirks, but they share a common trait, the ability to live comfortably in an apartment. They're both social creatures that crave interaction, so they'll appreciate your company even in a smaller space. However, do remember that owning an exotic breed still requires commitment. They may be more adaptable than a serval, but Bengals and savannas still require plenty of exercise, mental stimulation, and social interaction. Before you decide, make sure that you're ready for the responsibility and that you can provide a loving, stimulating environment for these exotic beauties. In conclusion, while servals are undoubtedly captivating, their needs and nature make them unsuitable for apartment living. But don't fret. Alternatives like Bengal and Savannah cats can offer the exotic appeal without the ethical and logistical challenges of a serval cat. So, can a serval cat be kept in an apartment? Let's reflect on what we've learned. We dove into the unique physical and behavioral traits of serval cats, discovering their need for large spaces, high-energy play, and specialized diets. We listened to the insights of veterinarians who stress the importance of providing serval cats with an environment that mimics their natural habitat as closely as possible. We also delved into the legal and ethical considerations. Keeping a serval cat in an apartment isn't always legal, depending on where you live. And even when it is, it raises serious ethical questions about the welfare of these wild animals. Lastly, we explored alternative pet options, such as savanna cats which offer the exotic allure of a serval, but are better suited to living in an apartment. While it's not impossible, keeping a serval cat in an apartment presents multiple challenges that potential owners need to carefully consider.